All right, what do you guys think? Is this a good look for me? <laughs> Put your votes in the comments below. All right, folks, welcome back to another video. Today is the day of, first day, Friday, of Sparky 107107's meet and greet at Strasburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, we're already here. We're already getting set. We got a table set up here with the t-shirts to sign, and uh, people are already starting to filter in behind us here, so. Hey. <laughs> I'm, it's, it's facing oh. me. Do my this intro. one of those. Are you are you gonna yeah. edit this? <laughs> so here's the man himself right here, the host of today's festivities, this weekend's festivities. Sure, whatever. So he he's gonna do his thing, and you guys, you know, can do your thing, and you know, whatever. <laughs> but don't forget, sign the shirts. They're right here. There's two of them that need to be signed. Um, so, I mean, by the time I re edit this and put this up, this will already been done and over with by months. So <laughs> <laughs> by months, yeah. <laughs> The shen shenanigans have commenced. What happened? What? <laughs> We're here in the big group, having fun. Everybody's, you know, congregating, having fun. We got Nathan Delay here, Sparky 107, 107, Ron Piskel. Uh, this guy, you can't miss him. Ray Bobel. Ray Bobel. Check him out. He needs more subs. Check him out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who tooted? This guy made it. Oh, okay. We also got Lewis. You, you can here. You can say your name. Simply exploring and adventuring with Lewis. There you go. I, it's too much. I can't say it all. It's all up the whole description. Yeah. Well, that's it, why most people say simply. <laughs> on the screen right here. <laughs> uh, Revenge of the Apocalypse is on his way. Matt, formerly a Matt PG, will be here later this afternoon too. Plus. Not only am I here for the meetup, but I'm also going to be riding one of these today. So this will be my first ride here at Strasburg. Obviously, I've done other rides with James uh, Gang and uh, drop, drop the purple panda. All right, so obviously you guys know the other rides that I've been on, the other train rides, excur excursions. So this will be my first for Strasburg. So this is going to be an interesting. Having been here as many times as I've been here with uh, Nick's Crossing and filming the train going by, now I can actually be on the train filming everybody else watching the train go by. So, look for that. That's coming up soon. We have another viewer here who came out to enjoy the day with us and hang out with us. You want to introduce yourself? My name is Ronald Montag. I'm from uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Perfect. Okay. So I'm out here to hang out with my fellow uh, railroaders and the CDJ. Have well, a good time. We're glad you came. Thanks Thank for coming. Thank well, have a good day. All right. Good stay. All right. So we're about to climb aboard the train here. We're going to be riding in this coach car here, which is behind the open air cars. So since there's nobody in here yet, we'll give you a look inside, show you what it looks like. So as we step up on, walk in the doorway here, you can see you got a wooden coal stove, complete with coal. Beautifully, I guess this is restored. It's really nice condition, nice seats here. And you got the wooden coal stove, or I'm sorry, the coal stove at the other end as well. All the windows are open. You got some really nice chandelier lights hanging from here. They got old time music playing. And the woodwork is just really nice in here. So we're gonna be sitting probably on this side, or at least I am, because JP is gonna be at one of the crossings. So we'll probably catch him filming us as we go by. We don't want anyone to get injured, obviously. 
If you have raised your window, make sure that it is securely fastened with the latch. It is. You may not move from car to car while the train is moving or ride on the end of the platforms. Never, ever leave the train at any time unless directed by the crew to do so at the gates, which will be open for you. Our equipment is very old and deserves the best of treatment, so please help us in keeping your sh by keeping your shoes off the seats and cushions. <laughs> Trash receptacles are provided in every car, so please do not throw any trash away from the train. We want the beautiful Lancaster farmlands to stay that way. There is no smoking permitted anywhere on the train. We thank you very much for your full cooperation and welcome you to the Strasburg Railroad. All aboard. Okay, can you say that again? <laughs> Our journey to Paradise, Pennsylvania is about to begin. And rest assured, everyone here is in for something special today. As our welcome guests, all you need to do is sit back, enjoy the view, and make a few memories with us along the way. Thank you for joining us today, and welcome aboard the Strasburg Railroad. Woohoo! You're going the wrong way. Oh, no, you're not. Never mind. The last person you want to have picture, aren't I? Yay! 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 I'm taking the train to Hawaii. Yay! That's it, everybody off. <laughs> Ride's over. <laughs> this short line from abandonment. 611's Every tender. Every nickel of profit was put back into the railroad. Steam railroading has become a specialty here at Strasburg. Our mechanical shop located to your running right is nationally recognized for their expertise in steam locomotive repair and restoration. And we're proud to say that has benefited heritage railroads and museums all over the country. But we're most proud to have that talent used right here, where we rekindle the love of old-time railroading. stories in our time, but we've come a long way. Yeah, We're happy to share that on all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in case you're wondering about the speed of our trains, the oldest timetable we've ever found for our short line was in the Strasburg Bee newspaper dated August of 1852. We still follow that same basic schedule today, so I can tell you that we're traveling at a comfortable speed that's 
Under 60 miles per hour. <laughs> Way under 60 miles per hour. <laughs> Preparing one of our steam engines for their daily service is not as simple as turning the ignition key. A cold locomotive can take up to six hours to fire up properly. This is done by gradually raising the temperature inside the firebox to increase steam pressure in the boiler. It's a process known as hustling. Our staff will also provide a full inspection of the locomotive, lubricate a multitude of moving parts, and ensure the tender is filled with enough coal and water for the day's journey. to be a narrow gauge railroad 
the Lancaster, Oxford, and Southern. We used to call her Little Old and Slow. The railroad was abandoned in 1918, and the scrappers took up the rail so quickly that they stranded old number six out on the line with no way to get back. Sometimes when we blow our whistle for Carpenter's Crossing, the ghost of old number six will answer us back. Now, listen closely. Maybe she'll answer us today. Did someone say Echo? Why, we pay that ghost $27.50 a day just to do that for us. That makes her the <laughs> highest paid employee on our railroad. Uh, nobody ever seen that ghost, but somebody keeps cashing those paychecks. <laughs> visitors aside at the top of the hill to your running left is carpenter's graveyard one of lancaster county's oldest cemeteries behind those gates is where one of our first settlers was laid to rest an 18th century french huguenot named marie Ferry. after fleeing their native france to avoid religious persecution Marie and a small group of followers were given an audience with Queen Anne, thanks to an English I believe I have the better of the bargain. 
The crowd was yes. equally oh, enthusiastic to see Mary Michael. Todd Lincoln. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When she stepped out yeah. and stood yeah. beside yeah. her yeah. much taller husband, yeah. Lincoln eloquently yeah. quipped. Now you can see the long and short of it. Sadly, in 1865, another train would pass through lemon flakes, but in the opposite direction. This one carrying President Lincoln's body after his entire weekend at the hands of John Wilkes Booth. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached our destination of Paradise, Pennsylvania, located along Route 30 in eastern Lancaster County. We'll be here for just a few minutes while we switch our locomotive around to the opposite end of our train for the return trip. The creaking and hissing that you'll hear under our cars is the sound of the train crew performing a brake test. The brakeman checks the brakes on the last car and passes signals up to the engine crew at the head end of the train. This procedure is required by federal law. Ladies and gentlemen, please feel free to stand up and flip your seats back around as we we were pulled out here. We're going to be pulled back to Strasburg. And on the platform side of the train, the same side that you got on the train, you'll want to wave and say hello as our engine passes by. Say hi to the crew. Otherwise, they might strand us here, and we don't want that, obviously. <laughs> this train, the number 475, was built in 1906 by the Baldwin Locomotive Works. It weighs 175 tons and originally ran on the Nor Norfolk and Western Railroad. It carries 10 tons of coal and, are you ready for this one, 10,000 gallons of water. Guys, how are you guys liking the train? Dip me to class. Dip me to gym. Hmm? He probably. Okay, I have a question. He has a question. I have a question. Why? Who gave you the super chat? I said, who gave you the super chat to put the wig on? Hey, Every <laughs> <laughs> once in a while I get to pay myself. <laughs> that way I know I still love me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hilarious. Oh. <laughs> Does your wife know you have her wig? That's all we want to know. So we just got to get in there, eh? <laughs> that poor pain, pain. cancer patient. <laughs> So here's a look at the picnic area that they're talking about, which you didn't catch at all. They actually have seesaws and different playground type stuff for you to enjoy, for your kids to enjoy. Swings, a sliding board, and uh, those little animals on springs. I forget what they're called, but so this is the picnic area. Very nice, nice area. Nice and windy. <laughs> it doesn't look like anybody's getting off. Now where are we going? You didn't enjoy the wild in the United States. There are about 80,000 acres of these hardy green belts protected. And we're proud to do our part by supporting the Lancaster Farmland Trust. We want the next generation to enjoy these sights and sounds, just as we hope you have today. Oh yeah. Is it? No. Is it? Them. 
might be. my shot. Please wait until the train has come to a complete stop before leaving your seat. Watch your step and leave on the station side only. The locomotive will be passing by on the parking lot side of the train. Do not, do not do You made it back. <laughs> we finally get to meet this guy in person. No, I didn't bring the roll back. And I don't have to see his mask. <laughs> like you should have. That would have been awesome. Yeah, I could have picked you up. <laughs> All right. So after the excursion, we finally met up with Alan and Aunt, yeah, Miss Lady A. I got to hold a baby pig. JP. She's all excited. She got to hold a baby pig. <laughs> and Lewis. And and we still can't find Ray. If anybody knows where Ray is and can find him, let us know. <laughs> so we're going to head over to the museum now and check out what the museum has to offer. So that'll probably be a separate video from this one because this one's probably getting pretty long as it is. So. Uh, yeah, we can get inside before the sun storm. Yeah, right before the uh, tornado gets here. Because apparently we got tornado warning looking behind us. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So we'll catch up with you after we come back out from the museum in this video. But that'll be its own video. So I got to get a drink. took up the rail so quickly that they stranded old number six out on the line with no way to get back. Sometimes we blow our whistle for Carpenter's Crossing. The ghost of old number six will answer us back. Now, listen closely. Maybe she'll answer us today.
All right, guys, so it's the end of, getting towards the end of Sparky's meet and greet here in Strasburg. This is uh, Sunday, Sunday morning. Uh, as you can see behind me, this is the caboose we stayed in. He actually rented it and uh, invited, invited me to stay here, which I'm very grateful for. Oh, speaking of, here he is. <laughs> so anyway, here he is. He just pulled up. He went to breakfast, so now he's back. So again, thank you for letting me stay with you. That was awesome and very gracious of you, and I greatly appreciate it. Well, the bills are going to be in the mail, don't worry. Of course. So <laughs> just wanted to give you guys a quick little tour of the mess in here and uh, let you see what this looks like inside because it, it, it it's pretty cool on the outside, except for the rust, you know, Pennsylvania. But wait till you see the inside. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so here's the entrance. Walking in the door. Don't mind the mess. This is the first room. <laughs> Sparky's now got his key. <laughs> and then this is the second room. So this is where I slept. So there's three bunks here. That one was the warmest, so I chose to get, stick with the dark and cold down here. And then there's a bathroom. So pretty neat, pretty cool. Awesome experience. So we are gonna head out and continue on with, we're gonna head out and continue on with our journeys for the day. It's so realistic. <laughs> It's an American-based company. We make stuff in China, obviously. American-based This book reads like stereo. <laughs> there it is. What is that? Are there trains here? Very much. Do you have a model rail? Oh, uh, I've seen that one. Yeah. Been there, done that. It does feel like that. More for the blister. This way out of this way. Oh, it is the 475, too.